Uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, my name is Henry Simons. I'm the assistant city manager uh, for operation, of course, for the city of Columbia. Of course, we would like to welcome you uh, and thank you uh, for your presence uh, on today as we celebrate the new ball field lighting amenities here at All Stars Field. Thank you, of course, to our mayor, Steve Benjamin, our city council members present, of course, Councilman McDowell, who's representing this district, Councilwoman Devine, thank you so much for your uh, presence on today. Uh, I also want, of course, to acknowledge our city manager, uh, Ms. Teresa Wilson, in her absence for all of her continued guidance, of course, and direction on all of the parks and recreation uh, projects. Uh, being able to provide a place where our young children can uh, feel safe and enjoy recreation means a lot to the city of Columbia. All Stars Field is a project that we are, of course, extremely extremely proud of and grateful to see how nicely things have, have come together. This again confirms our commitment to the citizens of this community and to our great city. Uh, this portion of the project would not be possible uh, without the partnership through the South Carolina uh, Parks, Recreation and Tourism. Uh, we were awarded a grant through their Parks and Recreation Development Fund initiative just over 100 $80,000. In addition, there was a 20% match provided by the City of Columbia, uh, which brought the total of, for this project to close to $170,000. Our ability to add lighting provides an element of safety, visibility, and provides additional time late in the evenings to utilize the field. So we are very proud of what we have done here at All Stars Field. And we will continue to work hard to improve the quality of life uh, for this community and across the city of Columbia. We feel very strongly uh, that these additional amenities provide a safe environment uh, that allows families to come together, allows them to rest, allows them to relax while their children enjoy the activities that these amenities provide. So we're very grateful to be here uh, with you today. Now at this time, we're gonna ask Councilman Ed, Mc Ed McDowell to provide some remarks. I assure you we won't be here long because it's getting hotter the longer we sit here. Let me say a word of thanks to our mayor, to my colleague, Ms. Devine, to our president of the Book of Washington Hike uh, Association, Ms. Regina Williams, to all of you who have gathered here. This is a, is a delightful day in the life of our city. Six years ago, a group of citizens from this area met with me on this piece of property and wanted to do more than kids running out into an open field. They said to me, we need something for our kids, for our children. At the time, there were about 3,000 children in this area. And in so providing activities for them, our city, our parks and recreation, they were able to secure grants. And just a word of thanks to Senator John Scott for assisting us with that grant. Of course, you would look at this park today and say, well, it's all done. No, it's not, it's not all done. There are many other things that we're going to be attempting to do. We've already received a grant already to install bathrooms in this area. These lights are going to play an integral part of what takes place, of course, when it gets dark and the evening falls. This will offer activities for our children in lighted secure and safe, uh, a safe background. In addition to that, we're going to be, we've already entered into conversation about clearing off this lot, this piece of property to the rear of me, so that when you come down Lester Drive, you don't have to turn into the, into the woods and follow the yellow brick road down to the park. We are going to make it accessible because it is an all-star 
Park. Many thanks to our mayor because this is just the first rung of what we talked about six, almost six years ago. Starting here and moving towards West Beltline with development. So thank you for being here. Thank you for allowing us, this city of ours, these, these staff persons who give of their time, talent, gifts, and service to make sure and ensure that we continue to grow. So keep a watch on us because we are continuing to grow. Bathrooms are next and after which the, par the parcel of land will be cleared for immediate access off of Lester Drive. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone, or I guess it's still morning. Um, I'm not going to talk long, as Reverend McDowell mentioned, it's hot. Um, but I did want to, as I was sitting here and, and speaking with uh, Mr. Simons and the mayor and, and Reverend McDowell earlier, um, to talk about uh, this piece of, if you look to my right, your left, you see a housing complex. For far too long in this community, people have looked at Bethel Bishop, Noun, North Point, they've looked at Colony and talked about the things that aren't always as positive, but we know that this is a very strong community with a lot of strong families. Um, but the kids need something to do. And now, with this park, we'll be able to have things for the kids to do. Yesterday, we had a great football game where law enforcement, excuse me, football kickball game where law enforcement and kids were here. And we were able to, to have this as a place not just for activity, but a place for families and congregations. So as we talk about this all-star field, we also need to think about the anchor that this all-star field will have to this great community. And as we continue to grow and develop, as Reverend McDowell talked about, this development will allow us an opportunity to fully embrace these young people and them have productive things to do, things outside, things that are active, uh, but things that will help them dream about being an all-star. So we thank uh, the partnership and thank the mayor and, and Mr. McDowell for uh, their leadership in making sure that we have this here in the community. Uh, but Ms. Williams, we know that this is only the first of very much more that we need to do, and we will continue to push so that these kids have more activities in their backyard. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to also be brief and then I'm going to introduce the, uh, the, the lady of the hour, uh, Regina Williams, my friend of 30 plus years. Uh, I couldn't um, uh, be more thankful for the leadership, um, Henry, Randy, Carrie, uh, your entire team at, at Parks and Rec, not just because of the physical um, uh, vision we see here, but the constant relationship building. Uh, that is invested into the um, uh, the men and women who who work every single day to make this community special for our children. Um, as Ms. Devine uh, mentioned, uh, just uh, to our, our, our right, uh, we see an amazing opportunity. Um, some beautiful, young, bright minds. You nurture them with love. You you, you give them everything they need that children deserve, and um, and they will yield the fruit uh, that we know indeed. Uh, that they can uh, be. Uh, a great city is a collection of great neighborhoods. Um, uh, uh, great neighborhoods are a collection of great people and great leaders. And um, uh, just as I thank our internal staff, uh, Mr. McDowell, uh, for his leadership here in District 2, and he, he referenced, of course, Senator Scott and his amazing leadership in helping us secure resources as well. My greatest thanks goes to uh, uh, Regina and, and all the men and, and women over here who, who toil in the vineyards every single day to make sure that these kids uh, have the opportunity to do the, the great things that we know God has in store for them. They are amazingly gifted. Uh, they need the opportunity, the luxury uh, of, of being children right now. Uh, and this is what All Star Field is all about, giving kids the same opportunities that we had uh, to come out and do amazing uh, things. So it's my pleasure, again, on behalf of the, of the city, on behalf of our city manager, I knew would be here, Teresa Wilson, um, uh, if she could, 
my greatest thanks to Todd, I'd see you in the Ebony Isle Parks and Rec staff. Just, just, we, have, we have a team here that, that, that does it and, and does it uh, well. My colleagues uh, here on council, a great, a, a great thank you. Uh, but my greatest thank you to the, uh, to the men and women who make this community great. And I'm gonna yield the mic to my friend, Regina Williams, who does it every single day. As Mayor Benjamin said, um, he's known me and he's had to pull my coattail or shirt, shirt tail since we were at USC together. And um, I appreciate our relationship. Um, I'm Regina E. Williams, president of Booker Washington Heights Neighborhood Organization. I want to thank Randy Davis and Ms. Pearl Osborne at Parks and Rec for helping me to, to navigate paperwork to have events to come through Parks and Rec. As mentioned yesterday, we had a phenomenal program down here where it was joy over nonsense. We had over 100 children, black, white, all races, um, families, people came in from Winsboro, um, around here. Uh, the City of Columbia rec recruits. It was phenomenal. And people were, were just saying how wonderful the children are. And that is what our goal is. Our goal is to shine the light on the positive aspects of our community. I want to also thank Mr. Davis, Parks and Rec, and ev um, everybody who was responsible for getting grants to install e equipment needed to make this a fully operational park. I'd like to thank Councilman Ed McDowell, along with Councilwoman Tamika Isaac Devine and Councilman Howard Duvall for always being in touch with the needs of this community. I'd like to thank the City of Columbia Police Department. They are phenomenal. Um, I can't say why I'm so appreciative of them today, but if you see what they do and what they did yesterday, you would understand. I, I, I can't talk about it, but I do appreciate uh, Chief Holbrook, Deputy Chief Melron Kelly, and Captain White, who led the efforts yesterday. We even had the ice cream truck here. These lights are symbolic. I want you to look at these lights. These lights are symbolic that we will continue to shine light on the crime that is prevalent here in our neighborhood. I cannot look at this beautiful field and think that everything looks like this. We have a lot of crime here. Uh, prayerfully, we will be meeting with the owners of these, of these apartment complexes for them to help the City of Columbia Police Department with the crime. These are private owned. The City of Columbia is so busy protecting everywhere. We have to have the owners to take responsibility. And that is what we are praying is going to happen really, really soon. Also, we are praying that these lights shine light on the aesthetics of our community. The bushes, the trees, as uh, Councilman McDowell has mentioned, we're already in talk to cut these trees down to make it safe, to clean up the area, to make it look pretty like some other areas in the city of Columbia. We're looking forward to that happening. And we're looking forward to the Belfield Center to become a hub for the city, even possibly putting a gymnasium there using parks and recreation to possibly shuttle children and families across Beltline to make that a hub. I went to that school when it was Sarah Nance 
and I know what it was then, and I know what it can be. I thank everybody. I thank you for this opportunity. And we are so blessed and so fortunate, and we stick with you. Booker Washington Heights stands on the positive side of change. My vice president is here. If he would stand, I'm so thankful. Booker Washington Heights stands on the positive side of change. And we're looking for nothing but positivity. Have a great day. Thank you again to everybody. And if you need me, I am retired. I am right here for you. <laughs> Just really quickly, um, thank you, Ms. Regina, for your, for your comments. Uh, I want to quickly acknowledge, um, again, some of our Parks and Recreation staff members who are present with us today. Of course, the mayor has already recognized uh, Randy Davis, our director, but I also want to recognize Ms. I see Ms. Hattie Bean there, our deputy director is with us, Stephanie Belvin, uh, Ebony Kelly, Todd Martin, Ray Williams, Fred Kitt. Thank you all so much. And I also want to um, really thank, I see, I'm um, sorry, I see Carrie back there who was acknowledged earlier, but also want to thank our um, public relations department. You know, they have been awesome. We've done a number of ribbon cuttings and dedications and mm -hmm. under the leadership of uh, Director Alicia Utsi. Uh, just, just some amazing work. Um, and thank you so much. Our, our uh, Parks and Recreation uh, Public Relations Manager Kevin Crawford is with us today. Um, just, just, just a phenomenal team. So I just want to acknowledge them uh, as well. And now we're going to transition into the ribbon cutting um, at this time. So thank you all so much for, for being here. God bless you.